Daddy from VT Division here, and today we're doing episode 4 of the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. So since last time, my team hasn't changed at all. Everyone's still as they were. Everyone's level 5 and level 7. So this episode, we're going to deliver the dreaded parcel to Barry over here. Hey Eddie, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorised everything that's on that blackboard. After all, it is a trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt, right? So what brings you here, huh? You got something for me? Alright, cool. So I've delivered the parcel to Barry. So what is this? Score! A town map! Huh? Why are the two? I like it a lot, but I don't need two, Eddie. So you have one. So we got a map. So we can actually see what the Sinnoh region looks like. Hmm. Well, according to the town map, I guess I guess Alvaro City is where we should be going next. As it's got, it's got a gym, so it'd be great for raising Pokemon I've just caught. And since I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer around, that's all nice, so... I said last episode that these trainers here look... Well, these people here look like trainers. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and hopefully... I can beat them and get some experience for my team. So I'd like to beat them quite quickly. You know, I want to get a lot into this episode, so I don't know. I hope I won't like, go over the 15 minutes, because it certainly doesn't work. All right, then. So Christine first, and she has a Bidoof. Level 6, so it is, a bit more, it is a bit more powerful than Bertie, but we'll see what Bertie can do. Seems to be faster. Ooh, good damage, Bertie. Look at that critical hit on that, on that Bidoof. Alright, so hopefully we can catch a couple of new Pokemon this episode, and as well as that, be able to continue in the story. Perhaps go to um, Alvaro City that Barry's talking about. Oh, another critical hit, fantastic. Come on, we can beat this Bidoof. We got it. Oof, low on health, but we managed to defeat it. Good job, good XP for Bertie there. We're low on money as well, so it'd be great if we could get like more items and stuff. Hopefully some good money from uh, these two trainers here. And what have they got then? I like to study a lot. I thought I could win. $120, that's not going to even buy us a potion. I wonder if it could have been better against you. Like, have I used potions right away? Alright, well, Bertie doesn't need training now, so we'll get... Uh, let's get Bolt trained. Alright then, so we'll battle this guy here. Doing... Doing... It is the best way to learn. Can we battle with you? Go, my Pokemon. Okay. So let's see. Youngster Harrison. My school kid Harrison. Hmm. I think it's a Starly. Level 6 yet again, so. Let's see if rivalry will save us. One X attack. Oh, that's a very good item. Upping his, upping his attack by one stage is a very powerful thing to do. Oh, quick attack. God, that did a lot of damage. I can risk tackling it once more. I hope it doesn't critical hit me. Bolt, hit, critical hit bolt though. All right, good job. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to Crimson. Crimson will finish the job. Crimson will finish the job, and then we'll be able to continue. Quick attack. Oh, good. It's using quick attack though, and since quick attack always goes first, but if both are using quick attack, the fastest one will go first. Good job. Uh, Crimson and Bolt took down a Starly together. Good job. Bolt's level 6. Crimson is level 6 too, so great, everyone's got up to level 6. Um, perhaps we'll need to train them all, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Um, but for now, I'd like to go catch some new Pokemon. Potion. Oh, good, a potion. That'll help. But for now, we need to go to the Pokemon Center. Uh, yeah, 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 cool. Alright, so we're beating these two trainers, got some good XP. And then, so now we'll go to the Pokemon Center and continue with the storyline. Alright then. I hope nobody dies, you know, because that's the tough thing about the Nuzlocke, you don't want to, you don't want a team member to die. Um, so, you know, yeah, especially if it was like Turtwig or something like that that I've had for a while, you know. Arnold. Good stuff. Alright, so well I guess we go up Aubrey City. I'll have a look on the map quickly actually. I'll get I'll I'll show you this little cool thing you can do. Uh, if you go to key items, which is where the map is, you can register the map. And then I can click Y. And then you go there you go, you can see the map. So we started here, went to the lake and stuff, and Jubilee says so Arbor City is there. So we'll head there. Um and yeah, we'll go oh Who's this guy? Oh, 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 you may call yourself a Pokemon trainer, and yet you have no Poker Watch? This is the Poker Watch, or Poker 
whatever for short. Oh, and, oh my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented the Poker Watch. Not only that, now I'm conducting the Poker Watch promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife, and if you can find them, I'll give you a Poker Watch. Oh good, Poker Watch will be useful. I mean, you guys can hardly see it, but yeah. So, here's the first clown. Hi, I'm a Poker Watch clown. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and getting XP? Yeah, we defeated a Pokemon and we got XP and leveled up. Pokemon grow stronger by defeating Pokemon and they might even evolve. Okay, coupon number one. I think there's three of them altogether, that guy said. So we've got to find the other clowns. Hmm. Alright, that's one. Hey, I'm a Poker Watch clown. Can a Pokemon hold an item? Yes, they can. We haven't found any items yet, but your Pokemon can hold items, which make them more powerful. And ber things like berries they can eat straight away. So there you go. Coupon three. Alright then. So, where's the last guy? Oh, there he is. Hey, I'm Poker Watch Clown. Let me roll my question out. Do moves have types? Yeah, most of my moves are normal type at the minute. And if you have to a type of move with this type of Pokemon, it'll buff the, it'll make the type the move stronger. Yeah. So, two fire, a fire type Pokemon using fire type will be stronger than one without. So, let's see. All right, guess we should talk to him. All right. Okay, let me count your coupons. One, two, three. Bravo! I say bravo. In return for these coupons, I present you with the Pokemon Watch. Our Poke, whatever for short. So I got a watch, so, see, you can see that down here, I have the poker watch. So that can be useful f for me in future, for any sort of thing. So I'm just bring the camera back up now. There we go. You can add apps to your poker watch to make it even more versatile. Touch the poker watch screen and find apps that are right for you. Alright then. So, let's see. So it's a bit of a crossroad here, so you can go that way to where we're meant to go. Let's go this way. I think I remember something that's quite useful, and a useful item you can find in this direction. Perhaps it'll help us find a new Pokemon. Let's see. Yeah, sir. An old rod is the good thing. You think to you think so too, am I right? Yeah, good answer. We can be friends. Here you go, here's my old rod. Oh good, we got a rod so we got a fishing rod. So I wonder if we can find anywhere where there's water. Oh and by the way, do you need any tips? No, no, I know how to use a rod. So he's just telling us how to do it. So, I'll show you how it works. So, if it, oh, there's water here. So, I go to my bag. I go to my rod, which is here, and I use the rod. To use it in, use it in front of water, and you can catch certain water type Pokemon with it with a rod. So, let's see if I can find anything. Oh, not that time. Let's try again. Since it's an old rod, it doesn't always find something. But I've got to wait for an exclamation mark to appear above my head, and then we can catch a Pokemon. Not even a nibble. Yeah. <sighs> We'll keep going until we find something. Wonder what type of Pokemon we'll find. Maybe a nibble. Hmm, that's bizarre. Hmm. Come on. Hopefully, we can find something. Um, because it'd be great to have another member um that we can bring along with us. Because you've got to make sure you have as many Pokemon as possible when you're travelling in Unslock. And as um, something I wonder is, um, if I fail, if all po six Pokemon in my team faint at one point, or hopefully I'll have six in my team at one point, oh, here's a Pokemon, um, I don't know if I should just um, say that I failed, or if I should continue with whatever's in my PC. Oh, Magikarp. Alright. Hopefully that will be too difficult to capture. Right then. Um, so, yeah, so should I, should I fail? Man, there's luck if all my Pokemon faint in my team, or should I just continue with whatever else I've got left? Discuss it in the comment section, because I'm not sure, really. Okay, so this Magikarp's using Splash, it can't do any damage to us, I don't think. don't think it knows any move yet that does damage. Magikarp's like that. I'll have to train it between episodes as well, I'm sure, because it's just a frailty. As in, well, not frailty, more that it's just a weak Pokemon, really, for now. <clears throat> but it'll be, it'll be useful. I'm sure when it evolves, it'll become stronger. Right, one more tackle and then we'll try and catch it. I do want to make sure I can get anything down to red that I can. Remember, when you put one down to orange or red, they're easier to capture. Right, not down to red, but you know, good enough for me. Let's get it. <clears throat> right, so after this, we'll head over to Arbor, see if we can um, continue in the story, perhaps. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. So there we go, we've got Magic Cat. What should we call it? Hmm. Cat. Hmm. 
Okay. I know what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it after its absolute ultimate move. I'm going to call it... Splash. There we go. So I'm going to sp Splash. Splash. Splash the magic carp, yeah. So that's the next member for our team. So let's head back to Arbor. I don't think I need to heal up the magic carp, really. I don't think anyone else is injured, are they? No. So we can leave magic carp down at the bottom. We'll, we'll train him next episode. He can't really do anything this, this time round. Alright then. So, how about... So we've gone that way. We could try to get a Pokemon up here. Yeah, let's go and get another one. Let's get a sixth member. We may as well get some members this episode. and Maybe we can even continue the story in the next. I don't know. Oh dear, trainer. Oh, a weak looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? Oh god, that doesn't sound right, does it? But, um, <laughs> let's beat this trainer, alright? So, last Sarah. With Shinx. Level 7 Shinx. God, that's a lot stronger than, than any of them. Well, apart from Arnold, but. Alright, I guess we'll tackle it with Bolt and then we'll go into Arnold. Arnold needs to level up, I think. As I say, between this episode and the next, I'll grind. I'm sure I've already told you that, but I can't remember, so. <coughs> um, I don't know if I need to do an updated video for future guys, maybe to um, inform you of anything else that's going on. For so far, it's only been me, Eddie, who's put up any videos on this channel. I might ask if my friend Matthew from Victini Vision or anyone else wants to do any sort of Let's Play to add content to the channel, which means I'll, this thing, maybe we'll do like every other day, one of our Let's Plays goes up, so it's like. Monday this thing, Tuesday, whatever Matthew might want to do a let's play on. Pokemon related, obviously, because this is a Pokemon channel. Um, and eventually, you know, we'll have a lot of content coming out. And I hope it helps the channel get a bit bigger. You know, maybe more subscribers. It, it helps as well if you guys, you know, tell your friends if you enjoy the channel. You don't have to. I'm not pressuring you all to, but, you know, I'd like the channel to grow a bit. And, you know, the way to do it is get content up that you guys will enjoy. And, you know... Well, everyone twin, everyone possible, you know, everyone, yeah, uh, everyone I possibly can to enjoy this channel. Perhaps I'll hunt more shinies, that, 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 those videos go down well, because um, people do like the shinies, so, and it also helps with the competition too, um, which I'm sure I'll, I'll update you guys on and how well we did, we'll go into some sort of update video. Don't know if I should make it a common thing, because my life isn't that interesting, sure, I, you know, there's nothing that you guys might want to know about. So, okay, there's some grass here, so... I'll catch a Pokemon. See if we can find anything. I don't want to be fishing again. I don't want to be finding another magic carp. Oh dear. Paralyze heal, okay. That was an item on the floor. So let's see what we can find here. As I say, no duplicates. If I find a Pokemon that's the same as what I've seen already. No, no, no. That's a Starly. As I say, I really don't want to catch duplicates. It just, it just makes it more boring. It's more interesting if I find a Pokemon that I've never seen. I hope there is a new Pokemon here. That we haven't seen before. Well, Bidoof. Never seen Bidoof and Starly before. We got them on our team. I don't know if duplicates is a bit of a tight rule, though, as I say, because we're getting. If we get enough of them, it just looks really cheap. I don't know. What do you guys think? Put it in the comment section. I want to hear what you have to say. Oh, now a Shinx. We've got a Shinx, though. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know if it's a bit of a strict rule. Right, how about we do two more? Two more encounters and I'll catch whatever's on the last one. Alright, a Shinx, okay. Ugh, I hope there is a new Pokemon here. It'd be such a shame if there isn't. Because I don't really want to be catching, you know, two Shinxes. Or two Shinxes on the team. And it is a rule I kind of added, so. Oh, a new Pokemon anyway. A Badoo. Well, it's another grass type, but it's better than not. You know, it's better than. You know, anything else. So, well, I don't really want to hurt it because it's only level 3. I guess I could put it in the PC. Uh, I may as well just keep it on the team, though. No reason not to have it on the team. Looks like the episode's coming to a close, guys. Um, as soon as I catch this, I'll have to end the episode, really. Come on. I hope I, I just need a Pokeball to work, actually. Now I think about it. I hope Badoo doesn't, like, not get caught, though. One. Two, three, yeah, we got Badoo, nice one. Alright, so guys, you'll see, I'll nickname the Badoo between this and next episode. Um, as I say, guys, answer to any of my questions. Do you think I should fail without when the Nux, when I on the Pokemon Fate? I'll see you guys later.